Hello everyone, I'm the Peculiar Pisces and welcome to my channel. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2024 and this is Flosstube video number 10. Now, uh, I told you last week that my kids were on spring break for this week and again for next week. We got a little bit of a taste of what spring break was going to be like. Uh, because Thursday and Friday my kids had off school because a huge snowstorm blew in over the mountains and they were off. My husband was off. I managed to stitch on every single project this week, but I didn't get a whole lot of time on some of them. This, this week and next week, I think what I'm going to do is just work on one project for the entire day and just focus any and all energy on that particular project and then um, just sort of alternate between my four projects each day because there is just no <laughs> there is just no schedule there's no keeping a schedule and that's okay I mean as long as I get some stitches on each project I'll be happy for the next two weeks so, I can start off today's uh, Floss 2 video with uh, a past project. This one I stitched back in 2012. I stitched it right before my oldest was born. And uh, my goal was to have each and every one of the Care Bear Cousins stitched so that I could hang on the wall in the nursery. That didn't happen. I finished this one and I started working on the next one. And then either I progressed too far in my pregnancy or I just couldn't sit down anymore. And maybe I had something kind of like ADHD for a pregnancy, I, I, if that's even possible. But I didn't finish and I just completely stopped stitching again until June of 2023. So the next few stitches are all what I completed in 2023. And it will bring you up to my current projects. So this is Swift Heart Rabbit from the Care Bear Cousins. I love Swift Heart Rabbit. Swift Heart Rabbit is my absolute favorite. Um, <laughs> there's a dog walking outside in the front. And my dog is just losing her mind about it. She hates it when other dogs walk in front of our house. Anyway, this is Swift Heart Rabbit from the Care Bear Cousins. The pattern is from this it's vintage I purchased this off of eBay in we'll say the early 2000s I want to say it was probably 2002 or 2004 that I purchased this and this was already vintage at that point um, the trademark on this on the back says 1985 so this is old I'm sure you can still find this on eBay or in thrift stores maybe on the after sale market um, but I love 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 the Care Bear Cousins these are all of them that are in the design um, I have also stitched Swift Heart Rabbit before um, my BFF I I stitched two blankets for both of her kids um, her son, I stitched a Winnie the Pooh blanket for um, because his nickname is Rue, and in the picture it had little Rue in it. And then I picked Swift Heart Rabbit because it's my favorite Care Bear, and I stitched it for her daughter. So, um, yeah, the goal was to have each of these done to hang in the nursery, and I have one done. I need to actually wash it and press it. Um, I mean, I, I believe that it's been ironed since I took it off, like since I did it, it's been ironed, but I need to actually wash it and press it. And then next week I'll show you the big, almost 10 year gap, 12, no, 2002 to 2023. So an 11 year gap, <laughs> the big 11 year gap between this one and the next one. So this was a past finish. This is Swift Heart Rabbit from the Care Bear Cousins. Designs by Gloria and Pat, adapted for Paragon Needlecraft. 
Um, I did not check to see if there are any currently available on eBay or Etsy right now, um, but this is the book that it's from. Okay, so moving on to my actual projects. Sorry, I'm in my bedroom because the kids are downstairs. One is watching TV, one is on the computer, and I just, I needed a space where the lighting was okay. <laughs> so my first project that I am calling my primary project, that I'm calling um, favorite designer, um, I am doing Teresa Wensler's The Castle, which is this picture right here. This is from the Best of Teresa Wensler Fantasy Collection. The one on the cover is what I'm doing. This one, I got a lot of work on this week. This week, I'm almost halfway done, almost. I've got a little bit more in the swing. I got some more here. And then um, when I took a picture of the pattern to print it out so that I could work with a paper copy instead of marking up inside the book, I realized that I cut off like four rows down at the bottom. So I have these four rows to go the whole way across because I'm silly. So I'm almost there. I'm almost at the halfway point. I put in 14 hours, 36 minutes, 30 seconds this week, bringing it up to 75 hours, 51 minutes, and 35 seconds. This is being stitched on um, 16 count Ada that I hand dyed myself, two over one. And this is Teresa Wensler's The Castle. If you look at my paper copy, just real quick, I'm so close, so close to being done. And then those last four rows, and it'll put me at the halfway part, halfway mark. My next project, project number two, is black work or a sampler, and in this case, it is a black work. It is by Did I leave page one? It is by Practical Black Work, and it is called Pentecost. And I must have left page one downstairs not inside my project, but I finished page four. I finished page three, and then I started bringing it up for page one. So I'm halfway done with this section, almost halfway done with the design. So here's where I am. This is bring it up and I started to bring it over. So this is the top of my pattern. This is 18 count Ada that I hand dyed and this is one over one. And for a full picture, Here's where I am on the total design. So again, I'm almost to the halfway point on this one as well. Two more pages and I will be halfway done with this one. And then just for funsies, here it is on the back. 
it looks almost as impressive on the back as it does on the front. I'm very much, very much enjoying this black work. The only reason I can think of that it took me so long for me to finally start working on a black work is because backstitching is the bane of my existence and I just must have equated it enough with backstitching even though in my mind it feels completely different it doesn't it doesn't feel like backstitching at all and maybe that's because it's actually making patterns instead of just little random lines here and there so this again was practical black work and I got this off of Etsy and it's called Pentecost and I'm stitching this on 18 count Ada that's hand dyed one over one this week I put in two hours, 19 minutes, and eight seconds, bringing my total for this one up to 52 hours, 43 minutes, and 49 seconds. 52 hours, 43 minutes, 49 seconds. Yeah, I said that right. Okay. Project number three is my wish list project. And this is Heaven and Earth Designs Faye Risque by Amy Brown. I am doing a blue conversion. It's my own blue conversion. This is the picture that I printed out of Pattern Keeper. And oh, it's almost like doing gymnastics. Here is my progress on this one. This is the one that I worked on the least amount of time this week. Um, I only got an hour, like I got 59 minutes and 50 seconds, so practically an hour on this one. Um, I'm still just working on this wing and bringing it down. And I'm almost done with this section and there'll be another page finish. So then pages 9 and pages 10 will be complete. Um, so I said this one, I worked on 50, 59 minutes and 50 seconds, and it's brought my total up to 82 hours, 43 minutes, and 54 seconds. I am doing this one on 22 count. Um, I'm not sure if this is an Ada or a Hardinger. I think, based on how it visually looks, that this is a Hardinger and not an Ada like I've been calling it since I started. I'm not 100% sure on what it is because I'm not the one that purchased it. Um, my BFF is the one that purchased this fabric first and then it wasn't working for her. So I gave her my 18 count fabric and she gave me her 22 count. So other than it being 22 count, I'm not sure what it is. But this is my progress for this one. And then the last project is my Stash Buster piece. And this is the one that I work on while I'm waiting for my kids to get out of school in the car. It is Plaid Lucilla. I hope I'm saying that right. Donna Dewberry is the designer, and the kit is called Hummingbird and Floral. Is there any sort of a... Um, 43090, I think, is the kit number, which is up here in the top corner. Donna Dewberry is the one that um, she would do those one-stroke painting classes and so I think this design is from one of her one stroke 
pictures and they converted it into a cross stitch. My progress, I, I did get to work on this an hour, 14 minutes and two seconds this week. So I only, I, I really only got to work on this on Wednesday and that's the day that I get kind of double the time to work on it. Um, so it's brought my total up to 19 hours, 29 minutes and 19 seconds on this particular one. This is um, 14 count Ada that I hand dyed. This is not the Ada that they provided in the kit. The Ada from the kit is actually still here. This is the, um, I went to Michael's and I bought the Charles Craft Ada that was gonna be big enough for this piece. So it's 14 count Ada that I hand dyed. You can kind of see the blues in it, I think. It's two-tone blue with a little bit of white modeling in it. It's supposed to look like the sky. The progress that I did was here in the flower, and like I said, there is a deep burgundy color in there. I am somehow off on my counting. I'm like a stitch off, and um, so I've been fudging it a little bit, but because it's kind of confetti heavy and it's all these blends, it's not really altering the, the picture too much. But somewhere, somehow, I am a stitch off along this left. This is the left edge of the picture. There's lots of blends, lots of half stitches, lots of stuff. It's actually quite an impressive kit. So that is the progress on my four projects from last week. Um, as I said this week, I will just pick one to work on today and just focus on that and then Tomorrow I'll pick a different one and focus on that and just alternate between my four so that they'll at least get some work on them. Otherwise, the one that's in the library and the one by my bed will probably get the most work if I don't if I don't try to schedule and pick which one I'm gonna work on. So I will see you all next week with an update.